special theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight's story is a comedy with Andy Griffith as your host. Here's a preview. You'll have to take over for a while. I'm beaming down to Earth, to Canada. Dress warmly and have fun, sir. Guardian angels aren't supposed to have fun, Doris. Oh, yes, sir. This is a fact-finding mission. In fact, I'm trying to find McLeod. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Hi, I'm Jim Bakken. You know trying to kick a football through goalposts and searching for a used car are similar. Sometimes you make the extra points, sometimes you don't. And sometimes you find the car you want, but you know how that goes. I don't know any surefire way to get those extra points every time, but I know a new way to make used car shopping a cinch. It's the St. Louis Suburban Newspaper's new Sharp Pencil Guide a collection of the best used cars from the area's leading auto dealers. You'll find it in the classified section of your September 12th issue. I've been stranded on this desert island for 27 months now. And if it weren't for these Maxell cassettes of Bach, Beethoven, Brahms, and Barry Manilow, I'd simply go crazy. You see, when I was washed ashore, I met this man named Spider. He already had everything taped on Maxell cassettes. So we just lie here, listen to great music, and watch ships passing in the night. I don't care if I'm never rescued. All I can say is, thank God for Friday. Listen to your Max L dealers for sound results. This is Andy Griffith, and we have a problem on our hands. Actually, it's Teddy's problem. He manages Kate McCall, who has a highly developed, uh, shall we say, beautifully formed, well, she's an exotic dancer, if you know what I mean. Hey, hey Kate, want to hear the hot new angle I got? Maybe you've got more angles than a trapezoid. Was that a yes or a no? Yes, it was a no. Oh, I'm bush, Teddy. I'll be in my undressing room. Oh, sure, Kate. I can see the slumpy you. Kate will be my only problem. Why can't my problems look like that? You can see Vincent Teddy. It may take some doing, but like they say, Rome wasn't burnt in a day. Burnt? I think it's time we extinguished ourselves from this particular situation. If you think that problems on Earth can get complicated, imagine what sort of problems might develop in another place. Sir? What on Earth is it, Doris? Sir, an unescorted soul has arrived at the gate. An unescorted soul? Well, who does it belong to? Uh, it's a Mr. Williams from Oshkosh, sir. We're in the office of Angus McCumulus, chief dispatcher for all guardian angels everywhere. Did you say uh, Mr. Williams from Oshkosh? Yes, I did, sir. Oh, it figures. Somebody up here doesn't like me. McCloud again, sir. Who else? He's off somewhere having fun again. I'll try to locate Guardian Angel McLeod, sir. Thank you, Doris. And tell him to get his you-know-what up here on the double. Yes, sir. Hmm. A lost soul, an exotic dancer, and a fun-loving Guardian Angel. And that's only the beginning of our story. A new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week brought to you in Elliot Lewis' production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, Where Guardian Angels Fear to Tread by Mark Trella. Our stars, Olin Soleil, Jesse White, and Jean Gillespie. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where value is your byword. Sears, where America shops. Supplement. You'll find it in your newspaper this week. Be sure to check out all the super values from all over the store. Super values on wonderful wearables, furniture, carpeting, bedding. Page after page of appliances, tools for your workshop, plus paint, tires, and much more. Most items at reduced prices. So this week, run for your paper, relax with Sears Super Value Supplement. Then hurry to Sears, where America shops for value. Super values from Sears. Now get the Sears Heavy Duty Shock, just $9.99 each installed. 
Smooth out some of the jolts, jars, and jerks with America's best-selling shots. And get great savings on Sears best-selling belted tire, the Dynaglass Belted 25. Now save 16 to $32 on a set of four. Offer ends September 29th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Super values at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Sears has nothing but good buys for baby. Many items are even on sale at 20% off. Selected cribs, strollers, high chairs, car seats, bedding, clothes, and more. These super values end September 15th. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii at most Sears retail stores. Angel McCloud to see you, sir. Oh, McCloud? Well, send him in. You, uh, you sent for me, sir? I did, McCloud. Have a seat. I'd rather flutter about, if I may, sir. Oh, suit yourself. To get to the point, McCloud, I have a few questions regarding your behavior on Earth. Questions, sir? I've tried to conduct myself in compliance with the Guardian Angel Code at all times. Mm -hmm. Really, McCloud? And why do you still appear as a burning bush? Oh, sometimes it just happens, sir. If I'm nervous or excited, it's not that easy to control. Well, I suggest you learn to control it, McLeod. The new safety regulations are in effect, and the burning bush is definitely out. Of course, you would know all about this if you, you had read your code. Yes, sir. In fact, McLeod, for the time being, it might be best if you remain visible down on Earth. Oh, Take away my power of invisibility, sir. It's not the end of the world, McLeod. I even had to do it to Gabriel once. But, sir, my effectiveness. This could only help your effectiveness, McLeod. But, but, but everyone will be able to see me. Well, that's the idea. Uh, is there anything else, sir? Uh, yes, McLeod. Uh, how is your charge, Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams, oh, he's just fine, sir. Do you know where Mr. Williams is at this moment? Yes, sir. He's sound asleep in Oshkosh. Are you certain, McLeod? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure he's there. He was when I left for New Orleans. Aha. Uh -huh. And what were you doing in New Orleans, McLeod? Just having fun, sir. Guardian angels are not supposed to have fun, McLeod. While you were out boogieing in the French Quarter, Mr. Williams was passing through the pearly gate. Oh, Gee whiz, I'm awfully sorry, sir. Sorry, McLeod. Suppose Mr. Williams had gotten lost or all ended up in the wrong place. That would have been a thorny situation, sir. Mm -hmm. Thorny, McLeod. You've been a thorn in my side ever since you were a sheriff. Why, if I hadn't promised your father, I'd look after you. Oh, if you'd just give me another chance, sir. Quiet, McLeod. Angus McHugh is here. What? Why, that's awful. I'll get on it right away. Bad news, sir. Of course, McLeod. McNimbus broke away and he'll be out for a month. Oh. Now I've got to get a replacement in pronto. Who's his charge? Oh, some sweet little girl named Kate McCall. And McNimbus was making such progress with her. Hmm. Uh, Doris, please send in the roster of all available angels. What does she do, this sweet little girl? Well, right now, she's an exotic dancer. But McNimbus has her interested in stamp collecting and watercolor. I'm sorry, sir, but there is no roster out here. Are you sure? Quite sure, sir. Suffering seraphim. No available angels. What do I do now? <coughs> I'm available, sir. Do I look like I've lost my mind, McLeod, huh? This case requires tact, finesse. But, sir, I do have a certain rapport with the female of the species. Oh... Uh, I suppose it's any port in the storm, McLeod. Good for you, sir. I'll do my best. I'm afraid that will have to do, McLeod. Now, here's a brief report that McNimbus filed about Miss McCall. It'll give you some idea of her background, habits, etc. Uh -huh. And I expect you to read it. Oh, yes, sir. I'll read it on my way down. And here's a recent photo of Miss McCall. Wow. What a heavenly body. Oh, I hope I know what I'm doing. You'll find her at the No Holes Bar in Champaign, Illinois. This is my kind of assignment. All right, shake a wing, McLeod. I'm as good as gone, sir. 
And keep that burning bush under control. I'll try, sir. There goes the only guardian angel who needs a guardian angel. <laughs> Super value for men. The value dress shirt. To make it look better than ever, Sears has added a 20% saving. Now just $6.99. This long sleeve woven shirt comes in five handsome colors. Take your pick and save 20% through September 15th. Sears value dress shirt. On sale for $6.99. Available in most Sears retail stores. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Sears, where America shops for value. Super values from Sears. The maintenance-free Sears 36 battery is now on sale. Great starting power. Now only $37.99 with trade-in. You save $7. And save now on Sears SuperGuard steel-belted radial tires. Steel-belted strength, smooth ride, radial performance. Super values, too. Save $40 to $76 on a set of four. Sale ends September 15th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Super values at most Sears tire and auto centers. <laughs> Stop you. Come on in, Teddy. Working on another painting, huh? I just started this one, Teddy. I want to do something completely different. Ah. Uh, what's it about? Has it got a title? I think I'll call it Nero Burns While Rome Fiddles. <laughs> you mean Nero Fiddles While Rome Burns, don't you? You haven't seen the finished painting yet. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kate, about this new angle I got. It's a piece of cake. If I have to pop out of one more cake, Teddy, the answer oh, is... Oh, come on. Hear me out. I'd rather see you out. Listen, Kate. This time we even got the scientific community on our side. Oh, Teddy, sometimes you burn me up. It's kind of what I had in mind. What on earth are you talking uh, about? Oh, uh, okay. Here's the scan. This professor's invented this miracle substance, see? You can spray it on your clothes and, and light a match to it. Are you out of your uh, mind, wait Teddy? Wait a minute, Kate. You light up like a Roman candle, see? But in a few seconds, it burns off and nothing's harmed. Not even a stitch of your clothing. It's not the clothing I worried about. Picture this, Kate. A dark and burlesque house. A hush falls over the crowd. We sense movement out on the runway. You light yourself up and boom! The whole place goes nuts. The flaming stripper. You'll have every club owner in the country after you. Not to mention every fire marshal. Oh, look, Teddy, I wouldn't even do this for Smokey the Bear. This is legit, Kate. In fact, the professor will be here in a little while. He can explain it a lot better than I can. Well, I hope so. You know, you're just like a brother to me, Teddy, and I'd do almost anything for you. But I'm not ready for my career to go up in smoke. <laughs> Relax, Kate. The professor's a real smart guy. He must have a hundred degrees. Please, do you have to mention degrees? Just listen to the man, Kate. That's all I ask. That's... Oh. Well, uh, I took the liberty of arranging a few club dates for you and the professor, kind of a shakedown cruise, before we go nationwide. You're using me as a guinea pig, Teddy. How could you? It was the most difficult decision of my life, Kate. Uh, and be nice to the professor when he gets here, okay? He's uh, a little strange. <laughs> And a few more flames. Hmm. There. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I sure hope Teddy knows what he's doing. He's come up with some, some harebrained schemes before. At the time he wanted me to pop out of a cake at a baker's convention. He didn't tell me he wanted to bake me into it first. Kate, it's Teddy again. The door's open, Teddy. Is he here yet, the professor? Sorry. Nobody here but the reluctant human torch. 
Jordan must be running late. I swear, some of these guys would be late for their own funeral. Do you have to mention funerals, Teddy? <laughs> Don't be so touchy, Kate. I've seen a demonstration, and this thing is 99% safe. 99%? Well, nobody's perfect. Now, here's a list of the clubs I got you and the professor booked into. Oh, not the crowbar in Galesburg, Teddy. And why not? The town's got a great volunteer fire department. You're not exactly kindling my faith. If everything goes right, we open in Chicago in six weeks. Thanks, Teddy. I'll be out front if you need me, Kate. Keep a fire extinguisher handy. Oh, I wonder if I'm insured against fire damage. Oh, where is that darn insurance policy of mine? <laughs> Well, you haven't given me a chance. Well, here's your chance, and you'd better make it good or I'm calling the police. The police? I haven't done anything. Breaking and entering. Uh, oh, what did I break? I'll gladly replace it. Hey, hey. Do you smell something burning? I can't tell. I, I seem to have caught a cold on the way down. Something's burning in this room. Yes, it does seem a trifle warm all of a sudden. Hey, hey it's your clothes. They're on fire. You're burning like a bush. Oh, don't move. I I'll get something, anything. That's all right. All right, this will burn out in a second. I'll be fine. My goodness. That was the worst case of spontaneous combustion I've ever seen. <laughs> in fact, it's the only case I've ever seen. Uh, Are you all right? Yeah. Yes, I'm fine, honest. Uh, if I could just sit down. Sure. Uh, uh, yes, that's marvelous. Thank you. Say, your clothes aren't burned. It, your, your hair isn't singed. You don't seem... Harmed in any way? <laughs> no, of course not. Well, oh, oh, I get it. You must be that professor. What's his name? Uh, McLeod, Michael McLeod. Uh, yeah, but I'm not exactly a professor. Uh, well, that's all right. Teddy gets these things confused all the time. How did you do that? Yeah, I, I didn't see you put any special formula on your clothes. Special formula? You know, a miracle substance. I thought you could coat a person's clothing with a flammable substance. Oh, dear me, you do have an imagination. Oh, oh that darn Teddy. He, he gets everything confused. Well, um, can you teach me to catch on fire like that? Well, it's not something you can learn overnight, you know. It's taken some of us a lifetime to learn it. Oh, I haven't got quite that much time. Teddy's got us all set to open to Chicago in six weeks. Oh, uh, six weeks is hardly enough time. Oh, you'd be surprised what can happen in six weeks, Mr. McCloud. Yes, I'm sure I will be. Now, Teddy wants us to play a few of the smaller clubs to get the bugs out. Bugs? What exactly are we going to do, Miss McCall? Oh, <laughs> I forget you're a professor. I, that's showbiz talk for perfecting your routine. Oh. <laughs> and if we're going to be working together for the next six weeks... You better learn to call me Kate. It seems I'll be learning a lot of things, Kate. And me too. Now, you ready, Mr. McCard? Michael, please. Ah, see? You're learning already, Michael. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe I should leave Teddy a note. No. It would serve him right after all the confusion he's caused. We can go out the back way. My car is out there. Teddy, guess who's here? Katie's out front now. Well, we don't want to keep the professor waiting, Kate. Kate? You who, Kate? That's funny. She's got to be around here. Her paints are still warm. You're hiding in the closet, Kate? You can come out now. That girl brings me up sometimes. Hey, that sounds like Kate's car. It is her car. Kate! Where the hell is she going? Kate! And who's that in the car with her? Sears Radio Theater will return after this message from your local station. Oldsmobile Factory Incentive Program continues. And that's great news for you, because there's never been a better time than now to buy a new old, especially if from Frank Bomarito Oldsmobile. 
The incentives program continues for a limited time only, so don't delay. See Frank while the selection is outstanding, and the price is even better. Believe it when Frank says you could be making a $500 mistake by not seeing Bomberito. You're going to save hundreds during the clean sweep sale, but do it now. Frank's inventory is still excellent. That means you'll be able to buy the olds of your choice. You can also get a sneak preview of the exciting 1980 model right now. So stop in today while the factory incentives program continues and Frank is cleaning out 1979 models. Remember, it could cost you $500 not to see Bomberito Oldsmobile. Frank Bomberito Old, 1190 Manchester Road at Ellisville, also offering GMC trucks and Mazda. Chills run up and down your spine. There's a creeping sensation at the back of your neck. You're listening to CBS Radio Mystery Theater. I'm E.G. Marshall, your host for these hour-long dramas of suspense, adventure, and the macabre. Heard seven times a week on most of these stations. Here's a sample of what we mean. What is happening? You sound crazy. You do. Here, drop. Yes. We've got to get out of this house. I don't know what it is, but we've got to get out. Oh, I knew there was something about that picture. Come on, Georgia. Hurry. Marion. Marion, look. It's moving. Oh, somebody is coming into this house. Run, Georgia. Run. Listen here for CBS Radio Mystery Theater seven times a week on most of these CBS Radio Network stations. Poor Teddy. Nothing going right. His main attraction deserts him, and now the professor won't leave him alone. No, professor, I haven't heard from her. It's been three weeks. Would I be interested in an invisibility ray? No, thanks, professor. Don't call us, and we won't call you. What a crackpot. First he wants to barbecue my number one attraction, and now he wants to make me invisible. No wonder Kate disappeared. Uh, I'd give anything to have her back. Not to mention the rest of her. Teddy Tyler speaking. Oh, hiya, Tony. How are things up in Rockford? Terrific. Glad to hear it. You want to thank me? For what? The hot new act I sent you? <laughs> Tony, have you been sampling that private stock of yours? Kate's been there. My Kate? You sold out the whole weekend? And the fire department wants her for a fire prevention campaign? Oh, wait a minute, Tony. Is she there now? They left last night for Kenosha? Thanks, Tony. So long. This can't be happening. She's doing the act without the professor. But how? And who's this guy with it? Well, only one way to find out. Off for Kenosha. Can you believe it, Mike? Wisconsin is my home state, and me playing the Bull Weevil Club in Kenosha. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> you must have unusual dreams, Kate. You're on, Kate. Thanks, Pop. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun since New Orleans. Doris, any word from McLeod yet? Not yet, sir. Thank you. I can't remember when an angel has given me more trouble. I used to like this job. An extremely long-distance call for you, sir. It sounds like guardian angel McLeod. Well, connect us, Doris. Angus McHumill is here. It's McLeod, sir. McLeod, where the hell are you? I've been worried sick up here. Why haven't you reported earlier? This is the first opportunity I've had, sir. We've been very busy. We've been busy? Yes, sir. And she's making splendid progress, if I may say so. Oh, that's encouraging, McLeod. Stamp collecting in watercolor. <laughs> that's very funny, sir. Funny, McLeod? I wasn't joking. What are you doing down there? Just having fun, sir. McLeod... Guardian angels aren't supposed to have fun. Are you still there, McLeod? Yes, I'm still there, sir. Uh, we, we seem to have a bad connection, McLeod. Where are you? Kenosha, sir. Look, McLeod. McLeod? Suffering seraphim. It sounded like he said Canada. Doris? Yes, sir. You'll have to take over for a while. I'm beaming down to Earth, to Canada. Drift warmly. 
And have fun, sir. Guardian angels aren't supposed to have fun, Doris. Oh, yes, sir. This is a fact-finding mission. In fact, I'm trying to find McLeod. Yes, sir. Now, if McLeod calls, find out where he is. Goodbye, Doris. <sighs> Good riddance. Well done, Kate. Well done? I thought I was medium rare tonight. Ah, you were terrific. Oh. Well, in a few more weeks, you won't be needing me at all. Oh, don't say that, Michael. Well, we can arrange something with Teddy. You can stay on as my trainer or my bodyguard. How about your uh, guardian angel? Oh, sure, that too. Oh, we'll be the biggest thing to hit Chicago since Mrs. O'Leary's cow. <laughs> Moo. Nothing can stop us now. All right, nobody move. Now, this is a raid. Nothing can stop us, huh? Almost nothing. Come on, you two. Let's move it. Chief Dispatcher McCumulus' office. Doris, this is McCumulus. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Just off. I got caught in a blizzard near Moose Jaw. <laughs> Worst mess I've seen since we threw Lucifer and his roughnecks out of paradise. Are you all right, sir? Yeah, oh, I'll live. Any word from McLeod? Not exactly, sir. What do you mean, not exactly? Well, McLeod hasn't reported in, sir, but something caught my eye in the Kenosha Courier. <laughs> the Kenosha Courier? It was my hometown paper, sir. Well? What caught your eye? Something on page 12 in the police blotter. Also arrested in the raid were exotic dancer Kate McCall and her bodyguard Michael McLeod. They gave no hometown addresses. Sir? Are you still there, sir? Bodyguard? <laughs> Suffering seraphim. I'll be in Kenosha if you need me, Doris. <laughs> I think they discovered you have a volatile personality. Uh, <laughs> I may not be setting the world on fire, but I sure am having fun, Michael. Oh, so am I, Kate. This is the most fun I've had in ages. Guardian angels aren't supposed to have fun, McLeod. <clears throat> Back to business, Kate. Business? Uh, I hope you know where we're going, because I'm hopelessly lost. Sure I do. And where's that? I thought we'd make a short detour to my hometown. Oh, that's nice, Kate. What is your hometown? Oshkosh. <coughs> Oshkosh? I is something the matter, Michael? Uh, well, I'm allergic to Oshkosh. I had a bad experience there. You've been to Oshkosh? Uh, you might say I was stationed there. Small world, isn't it? Yeah, extremely. What kind of trouble did you have? I can't imagine anything bad happening there. It's such a sleepy place. Yeah, well, it had something to do with that. Sleeping. Oh, asleep on the job. Night watchman or something. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Well, you won't mind going back, will you? I mean, it won't be too painful for you, will it? Oh, no. No, I think everyone involved is long gone. Oh, good. Because I'd just like to drop in real quick. You could even meet my folks. Oh, I'd like that, Kate. And we could drop by the place where I got my start. Maybe do a show for old time's sake. You got your start in Oshkosh? Uh-huh. Larry's Bar and Grill. Except after he went topless, he changed it to Larry's Bar and Girl. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Oh, sure. We'll have lots of fun, Michael. And you'll be safe. It's such a quiet place. Nothing ever happens there. <laughs> Nothing ever happens there. You just relax. We'll be there in no time. <laughs> Place still looks the same. Gee, it's been ages. Say there, young fella. You're not supposed to be in here. We're closed until further notice. No kidding, Pop. You have some kind of run-in with the law? Yep. They closed the pup after Kate McCall was here. Why'd they do that? Well, you know how she catches on fire and sort of uh, cooks herself? Mm-hmm. They said you didn't have enough fire exits, right? No. Nope. They said we needed a restaurant license. Oh, gee, that's a shame, Pop. Is Kate still in town? Nope. She and that young fella left after they were released from jail. Any idea where they went? Well, you might try Oshkosh. That's her hometown. Oshkosh? Well, it's any port. 
as they say, in a storm. Chief Dispatcher McHumas' office. It's me, Doris. Any word from McLeod yet? Not yet, sir. What was the date on that McLeod article, Doris? Um, the, the 7th, sir. Two days and they've already left Kenosha. I'm surprised they stayed that long, sir. Well, I don't know where they could be. I'll be back up in a few minutes, Doris. Uh, uh, one more thing, sir. Yes? Guardian Angel McNimbus has reported back for duty. He says his wing is much better and he's ready to go. Oh, wonderful. Somebody up there likes me, Doris. Every McLeod has a silver lining. <laughs> uh, uh, McNimbus is here now, sir. What should I tell him? Uh, don't tell him a thing. And don't let him out of your sight. Yes, sir. I'm going to play a hunch, Doris. And if I'm lucky, I'll be back with McLeod. I'm sure sorry about your folks, Kate. Oh, it's no big deal. People move all the time. Well, they could have let you know or left a forwarding address. Mm -hmm. I move around a lot. They probably tried and couldn't get hold of me. Mm -hmm. We were never much for keeping in touch. <laughs> That's funny. I'm bad about keeping in touch, too. You're on X. Oh, Larry, have you met my trainer, Michael McLeod? Hey, this is mine. How are you, Michael? Just fine, Larry. My, this is quite a place you've got here. Oh, thanks. And that's quite a girl you've got there. Oh, no, I'm Larry. I've had a crush on her since high school. <laughs> uh, say, whatever happened to old Mr. Williams, the principal? Oh, didn't you hear? Passed away in his sleep about a month ago. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. Are you all right, Michael? Uh, yes, yes, I'll be fine. I just need some fresh air. Uh, you go right ahead, Kate. We don't want to keep the hometown folks waiting. He's right, Kate. Anytime you're ready. Oh, there's no time like the present. I'll see you after the show, Michael. Sure, Kate. Knock him dead. Why, <sighs> what a small world. Well, I think I'll step outside for a minute. Ah, that crisp night air is good for the soul. It may be good for the soul, McLeod, but it's murder on a cold. Sir? Where are you? Right behind you, McLeod. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, sir. <laughs> and how would you prefer to be scared, huh? Well, it uh, sounds like you've got a cold, sir. I'm not here to discuss my health, McLeod. What are you doing here, sir? It's a small world, McLeod. I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm just doing my job, sir. It's the way you do it that bothers me, McLeod. Now, you were arrested in Kenosha. I know, sir, but I was released on my own recognizance. Well, you're the last person I trust you with, sir. <laughs> Bless you, sir. Has it ever occurred to you that you might be doing more harm than good down here, McLeod? But she is having fun, sir. What's wrong with that? Absolutely nothing. Humans can have all the fun they like. And guardian angels aren't supposed to have any fun. <laughs> exactly, McLeod. It's too cold down here to argue now. You're coming back to headquarters with me. McNimbus is waiting in the wings to replace you. But, sir, she expects me backstage after the show. You're breaking my heart, McLeod. You may break hers, sir. Come along, McLeod. Please, sir, one more chance. Not on your life, McLeod. the best. Teddy, what are you doing here? I came to take you back, Kate. Take me back? Well, where's Michael? There's nobody here but me, Kate. Who's this Michael character? Who's Michael? Well, he's your professor friend. That's who. Uh, that's impossible, Kate. The professor turned out to be a crackpot. Uh, I I'm confused, Teddy. You mean you don't know who Michael McLeod is? Never heard of the man before in my life. Well, if he isn't a professor, how could I do what I've been doing? Beats me, Kate. Uh, you mean you can't do it by yourself? Well, maybe. Well, let me try. Um, nothing. Not even a spark. Well, whoever he is, we got to find him and fast. Oh, I'll say. With any luck, we can still open in Chicago. I'll settle for a cold shower in Oshkosh. Now find Super.
super values during Sears Fall Home Appliance Sale at most Sears retail stores. Save twenty to one hundred dollars on selected Kenmore appliances like refrigerators, washers, dryers, gas and electric ranges, color TVs and stereos. And save big on a Kenmore trash compactor, built-in and portable dishwashers, sewing machines, vacuum cleaners, microwave ovens, and more. Sale ends September 29th. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Sears, where America shops for value. Dashing here for the groceries. Dashing there for the kids. Dash to Sears now for yourself. And try on the shirt and pants that fit. They're meant for busy you, combining good looks with easy care. And are they comfortable? The shirt, a tailored classic, has a fashionable small collar. The pants that fit, fit so well because they're sized for tiny, typical, and tall women. Sears, for the shirt and pants that fit. Your busy life. Mrs. or women's sizes in the sportswear department. How many steps does it take to make open hearth furniture from Sears look so warm and attractive? 26 steps to be exact. Fine craftsmen use a 26-step hand rubbing and finishing process to transform solid northern white pine and pine veneers into open hearth colonial style furniture. Like our family room furniture covered in a rich earth tone plaid. Taking steps to furnish your home? Well, direct your step to Sears and discover open hearth family room furniture. Selected items from the collection on sale now. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Andy Griffith again, and here's the concluding act of Where Guardian Angels Fear to Tread. I don't understand what happened to him. He just disappeared. Into thin air, huh? You know, he didn't really want to go to Oshkosh. I don't blame him. He said he'd had a bad experience there before. Kate, we turned that town upside down. If he's there, he'd have to be invisible. Oh, it's all so confusing, Teddy. Yeah, sure it is, Kate. Uh, hey, why don't you take a breather? I'll keep an eye on things. Oh, thanks, Teddy. This means a lot to me. Don't mention it. You really miss this guy, huh? Uh-huh. I really do. Well, we'll get him back here somehow. Cloud, could you please perform your cleanup chores with a little less noise? Oh, was I bothering you, sir? Bothering me, McCloud. You were irritating the hell out of me. Now keep it down to a roar, will you? And be careful around that, that bust of you-know-who. This one, sir? That's the one. I want it polished, so be careful. Guardian Angel McNimbus on the line, sir. Good. Connect us, Dora. Uh -oh. Careful, McCloud. No, McNimbus. I was talking to McCloud. How is your charge, McNimbus? Well, not so good. What did McLeod do to her? I don't think we'll, we'll ever be able to piece the whole story together, McNimbus. All right, you you do the best you can and keep me informed. Goodbye. Oh, oh. oh gee, I'm sorry, sir. McLeod, what am I going to do with you? Uh, I'll clean it up, sir. You'll do more than that, McLeod. You're going to glue that bus back together piece by piece. Well, but there must be a million pieces. I don't care if it takes forever. Now get to work. Uh, mm -hmm. Kate, it's Teddy. You decent? Come in, Teddy. Kate, I got some guys outside named McLeod. I thought you might want to look them over. You never know. I really don't feel up to it, Teddy. Uh, I know how you feel, Kate, but, but these guys have come a long way. Teddy, and... please. Not now. Suit yourself, Kate. But you can't stay like this forever. You haven't touched your paints in ages. I've had other things on my mind. I, I haven't found the time. Well, suppose we don't find this guy. Life goes on, you know. It may have to go on without me. Don't talk like that, Kate. We'll find this guy, or my name isn't Teddy Tyler. Hey. Suppose he used a different name. That's an angle we haven't tried. You get better, Kate. I'll keep the fires burning. Thanks, Teddy. You're an angel. Now, this piece fits right here. Aren't you done with that yet, McLeod? It's taking you forever. Yeah, I'm almost finished, sir. Just a few more pieces. Oh, uh, McLeod. Is something the matter, sir? Why is this bus grinning? 
Wasn't it grinning before, sir? No, McLeod. You know who doesn't grin. Well, maybe he's having fun, sir. How many times do I have to tell you, McLeod, that we, we don't, don't have, have fun up, up here? Guardian Angel McNimbus on the line, sir. All right, connect us, please, Doris. Angus McHumel is here. Yeah, she's lost all interest in the stamp collection, has she? And she hasn't touched her watercolors in ages? She certainly seems to be fading. What do you suggest, McNimbus? Uh huh. Well, well, do you realize what you're saying? It's either that or else. Huh? Well, she's certainly too young for that. I'll take your proposal under consideration, McNimbus. Now, you keep an eye on her. Goodbye. I couldn't help overhearing, sir. Is Kate all right? Of course she's not, McLeod. Any time a human exhibits all the symptoms she does, it's only a matter of time before Ooh, they... Don't say it, sir. Well, you seem quite interested in this girl, McLeod. Oh, if anything happens to her, I'll never forgive myself, sir. McLeod, I'm going to tell you something. And I don't want you to get upset. Me? Upset, sir? Now, as you know, your father and I were best friends. Uh -huh. We go back a long way, all the way to the beginning. Well, your father fell in with the wrong crowd, Lucifer and his gang. And when we expelled the bad angels from paradise, your father went along with them. You mean my father was a fallen angel, sir? Exactly, McLeod. Now, I agreed to look after you, but as time goes on, I realize it's that you aren't cut out for this line of work. You're, you're, you're too much like your father, McLeod. He liked to have fun, too. Exactly. Oh, you're not upset, McLeod. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Just the opposite. I'm uplifted. Now I can have fun. Oh, I take it you do not wish to remain a guardian angel? Uh, if it's all the same to you, sir, I'd rather be a fun-loving human being. Yeah. Well, you realize, of course, that you forfeit all benefits and privileges connected with this position. No invisibility, no Christmas party, no, no pension plan, and no burning bush. Sir, I don't care if I ever see another burning bush again as long as I live. Well, that may not be long, McLeod. There's no immortality. Who cares as long as I can die happy? Uh, when can you send me down, sir? Immediately, McLeod. It'll give me great pleasure. Of course, you'll have no powers and... No memory of your time spent as a guardian angel. But I'll still remember Kate and she'll remember me. Well, that can be arranged. <laughs> I'm ready when you are, sir. All right. Just uh, walk through that door, Michael. Well, it's been fun, sir. The fun's just beginning, Michael. <laughs> Kate, can I come in? Sure, Teddy. Feeling any better, Kate? Much better, thanks, Teddy. Chicago called. And? I had to cancel. Oh, I'm sorry, Teddy. And so I lose some money. It's not the end of the world. No, it's not. We all lose something, sometime. You'll come up with a new angle, Teddy. <laughs> hey, I'm supposed to be cheering you up. <laughs> I think it's working. I feel much better. Uh, that's my girl. I'm closing up now. You can stay if you like. I think I will. I may even do some painting. Terrific. I just thought I'd check up on you. Oh, thanks, Teddy. You've been an angel. Not me, Kate. You'll know him when he gets here. Good night. Good night, Teddy. <sighs> Where did I put my brushes? Oh, so here's that dying insurance policy. <laughs> Funny, huh? Fine things and you stop looking for them. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Who said that? Michael! Where on earth did you come from? I don't really know, Kate, but I'm glad I'm here. Oh, so am I. But what happened to you? All I know is that one minute I'm in Oshkosh and the next minute I'm here holding you. Oh. Don't you remember anything? A thing, Kate. Not even teaching me to set myself on fire? Oh, why would I do something like that? I, I don't really know. But you shouldn't run away from me like that. Ever. I, I don't even remember running, Kate. You had me worried. I didn't think you were ever coming back. Oh, somehow I made it. 
And if you still want me to set you on fire, I'll help you any way I can, Kate. Oh, you can start by warming my heart. You mean... like this? Oh, exactly, Michael. That was fun. When I'm with you, Kate, I'm in heaven. Oh, Michael, you're an angel. Isn't that the truth? ruffle up a window with tradition from Sears Open Hearth Collection. Our inheritance Cape Cod curtains have plenty of big fluffy ruffles for that traditional New England look that's become an American favorite. They're an easy care permapress fabric made from 65% Codell polyester and 35% cotton. Completely machine washable. Choose from 14 distinctive colors. One of the largest selections to be found anywhere. So carry on a decorating tradition. The Cape Cod look from Sears. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Here's great news for your home. It's Sears Super Homeowner's Sale. Save from 20 to 40% with Sears Super Values on many items like Craftsman chainsaws, power tools, sprayer compressors, and tool sets. On easy living paint, baths and vanities and cabinets, fire screens, and even more right now at most Sears retail stores. The savings are super at Sears. Where, Where America, America shops, shops for value. value. Where America Shops invites you to apply for the Sears credit card. It gives you credit in over 3,600 Sears stores coast to coast. Whether you live or travel in any of the 50 states, there's a Sears store where you can shop for what you need for your family, home, and car. You can apply for the Sears credit card at any Sears store or by calling this toll-free number now. Call 800-527-3592. That's 800-527-3592. Texas residents call 800-492-5385. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Robot and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops. Where Guardian Angels Fear to Tread was written by Mark Trella, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your host was Andy Griffin. Our stars were Olin Soleil, Jesse White, and Gene Gillespie. Also heard were Jack Carroll, Marvin Kaplan, and June Whitley Taylor. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI. Good evening, I'm Jackson Kane, KMOX Radio News. President Carter is due to arrive in Washington in about 19 minutes following a Middle Eastern peace mission, which at first was characterized by great hope, then great disappointment, and finally a bit of promise. On the final day of Mr. Carter's trip, Israeli Prime Minister Begin and Egypt's President Sadat finally agreed to U.S. compromise proposals designed to bridge the final negotiating gap and set the stage for a Middle Eastern peace treaty. The Israeli cabinet will debate the draft treaty, that it will be given to the full Israeli parliament for approval. Begin said he'll resign if the accord is rejected. Administration inflation fighter Alfred Kahn tonight accused the U.S. business community of failing to carry its load in the voluntary program to reduce the cost of living. Kahn's remarks in Chicago. And St. Louis public school teachers prepare for the surge of nearly 74,000 youngsters.